I'm Lee from Ransom Spares. I'm going to be talking about how you can use a multimeter to test and diagnose faults with components inside your electrical appliances. Repairing common faults on domestic appliances is usually well within the capabilities of most DIYers and by using a common sense approach and a process of elimination we can often very quickly narrow down the problem to just a few components. Once we have an idea of where the problem lies we can often go further and test each component with a multimeter to prove if it has indeed failed or not. Whilst multimeters vary depending on the brand, the fundamental settings are exactly the same. The first thing to note is that testing electrical domestic appliances should only ever be done when the appliance is disconnected from the mains. We never carry out tests with a multimeter on live appliances. There is absolutely no requirement to do this. For that reason, we're only interested in one setting on the multimeter, which is the resistance setting. On the multimeter that we're using, the resistance settings are these green numbers here. With the multimeter turned on, we're going to set it at the 2000 ohm setting. And this is because it's got an audible alarm. So how can we use the meter to see if a component is faulty or not? I'm going to demonstrate using this plug and cable. I've cut the cable so it exposes the three wires, the live, neutral and the earth. And we know that each one of these wires attaches to the bars on the plug. And we know that if one of the wires is broken, then the plug wouldn't work. So what we need to do, be able to do is test that there's a continuous circuit from the wire to the plug. By placing the multimeter lead onto the earth wire and then onto the earth bar of the plug, we can see and hear that there's a continuous circuit. Same goes for the, the live and also the same goes for the neutral. So in this instance we've proven that there is a continuous circuit for electricity to flow from the cable to the plug. If the cable or plug was damaged or faulty then the circuit would be broken there'd be no reading on the meter and therefore the cable wouldn't work. So that's how you use a meter to test faults on electrical components. Check out our DIY repair videos on how to test specific components with a multimeter. I'd like to thank you for watching and remember that the multimeter and all appliance spares can be found on the Ransom Spares website.